studying must be a priority. You can make all your dreams become a reality if you stop studying just when you feel like it and make it a priority. You're studying after you go out with your friends. You're studying after you've watched TV. You're leaving your studying until you're bored and have nothing to do. Then you study. You're not serious. You're not eating it. You're not dreaming it. It's not haunting your dreams at night. Pass your exams, you get to the top of the class. It will open doors, I promise you that. You've got to shut the TV down. You've got to shut certain people down. You need to optimize your life. That homework, you can get it done. That exam, you can get it done. That degree, you can get it done. But you're doing it in your leisure time. Listen to me. You're not making your studying a priority. You're not making your education a priority. There's some stuff you gotta shut down. Whatever your goals are, it can get done. You can get it done. And how will we do it? We will do it by listing our priorities. We will do it by shutting everything else out. We will do it by saying no to everything that does not apply to our priorities. are focused. We will do it by waking up every single day and taking every moment of the day and focusing on what's a priority. And then, when we get to the end of the year, we will not be disappointed. We will not be defeated. We will not be destroyed. When we get to the end of the year, we will not be disappointed. This will not be another disappointing year. This will not be another year of excuses. This will not be another year where you avoid work. This will be the year that you stop half doing stuff. You stop half doing your homework. You stop half doing your exams. You stop half doing your studying. This will be the year of execution. If not now, when? If not you, who? Look, I never told you it would be easy, but it's doable. It's not going to be easy, but it will get done. Let me give you an example. This is how I did it. I turned my paper in four weeks early, and she sent it back to me with a whole bunch of red. I fixed it and gave it back to her, and she gave me some more red. So I fixed it again and gave it back to her, and she told me, you don't really write that well. I don't know if you're going to be able to get a 4.0. I said, look, where I come from, it's not all about skill. Let me tell you something. You will miss a lot of shows fooling with me. Your family will not get a lot of family time. You will check my paper over and over and over. I'm being real. I will not stop turning in my paper. You will keep grading my paper. And if I were you, I would help me to make the corrections so you don't got to keep dealing with me. But if you think I'm going to quit, I promise you, I will be at your office hours, every office hour. I will haunt you in your sleep until I achieve what I want to achieve. There are people with incredible talent and no motivation. And then there are other people who are willing to work their tails off who don't have a natural ability but will become successful because they're so determined. You know, every time you lose at something, you're one step closer to winning the next time. The difference between successful people and unsuccessful people is simple. Unsuccessful people give up. The hardest thing in life to learn is to lose. You win, you're happy. You get a high five. Your friends are happy. That's easy. It's your ability to take a loss, get up the next day, dust yourself off, and keep going that really determines your true character. I just want to encourage everybody out there. Listen to me. Your day is coming. But you got to do me a favor. You got to sit down and you got to look at your life and you got to look at the work you're putting in. You got to look at how much you procrastinate. You've got to pay attention and look at where you're going wrong. Look at where you can improve and you put it all together. And before you know it, you've got the grades that you were aiming for. You've got the career you were aiming for. You've got the car and the house you were dreaming of. If you're willing to grind it out, you can get it done. I think the
greatest of people that have ever been in society. They were never versions of someone else. They were themselves. It's a great tragedy. People deployed in ways that don't fully tap. down in your heart, you know that you're not living to your potential. And life is now something you're just getting on with. See, I look around at people so often and they're so unhappy and I think the reason is that they don't ever win the game of life. It's a game they feel like they can't win, like they're always losing. And the reason, number one, is they don't know the purpose of the game. That's why people wake up in a rut. Their life has no purpose, no meaning. They, they're not morning people. I'm just not a morning person. You're not a morning person because you, you're not living in your purpose. See, you hate waking up because you're waking up and you don't know the reason. You're waking up and you don't have no design in mind. Just stop and think about what's most important. Think about why you're here. You are here for a reason something for you to do and be here. Take a look at what burns on the inside of you. You've got to find what you love. What burns in your heart is important for you to pay attention to because it never goes away. Start to realize there is something inside of you that is never ending. There's something inside of you that is unchangeable. That's the part of you that knows what is right, what to do, and why you're here. The only way to be truly satisfied is to love what you do. As with all matters of the heart, you'll know when you find it. The most stable thing that a man can do is to listen to his heart and to follow it. to follow your heart and intuition, they somehow already know what you truly want to become. But you see people successful soaring by, and you want to soar. But you got to jump. You got to find something within. And when you find out what your why is, you don't sleep day or night again. People who are running toward their dreams, life has a special kind of meaning. When you find your why, you find a way to make it happen. When you truly need something, you can find a way. And you stop at nothing to reach it. What you will realize is that you have greatness within you. What you'll realize is that you're more powerful than you can ever begin to imagine. We're all dying. What are you dying to do? What is your true purpose on this earth? The two most important days of your life. the day you were born and the day you learned why. I've got one question for you. If you could have your goal right now, would you take it? Would you even be able to handle it? Think about it, really envision, visualize, think it through. What is it that you want? Are you ready for it? Have you become the person worthy of it? Could you handle it? If you could have your goal right now, would you take it? See, that's a tough question. It should be easy. The answer should be yes, I'll take it right now. Give it to me. That's the problem. It can't be given. You 
you got to go out there and take it like it's yours, like you own it. What are you ready for? Have you worked for it? Have you put the time and the energy? Have you become a person that's qualified for it? Of course, it all starts in the mind, truly believing that you deserve it, truly believing that you are capable of having it. But it takes work. Have you put the work in? Every day are you working towards it? If you could have your goal right now, would you take it? How does the achievement of your goal affect you, affect your family, affect the ones around you? Would you take it? Could you handle it? Are you prepared for it? Are you prepared for all the change it's going to bring? Because when we want more out of life, we get more of everything. We get more money, we get more impact, more influence. We also get more problems, more criticisms, more conflict, more controversy. People doubting you, people telling you you're not ready. People saying that you're not the person to be doing this kind of work. People saying that you're not the real deal. There comes doubt with that. And of course, doubt within yourself and doubt from other people who are very close to you. Are you ready for that? Because it's coming. Have you built the relationships that can help you get through the storm? Do you have the systems in place, the personal, the business, the emotional systems in place to help you see yourself through the storm? Because most of the time when you're going after what you want, most people will not be able to relate to you because they're not doing that. Most people are going for what's right there in front of them. Most people are playing it safe. Most people aren't chasing anything down, but you are. You've decided to. You know that there's something more. You actually look forward to putting something in front of you that keeps you driving forward. If you want something, nobody has the right to talk you out of it. If you want something, you go out and get it. My question is, are you the person who's ready for it?